What's going on, everyone? It's your boy 3 We'll be back with another video. I just want to say shout out to my brother, I'm Dante, man. The fit on his new merch feels amazing, man. Definitely good quality. It ain't no cheap ass cotton that's going to shrink when you wash it, but this shit really feels good. So I really appreciate you, my brother. You've been positive. You've been a big influence in all of our lives, man. We all look up to you, man. We love you, man. Keep doing your thing. Anyways, though, I'm Dante.com. Check out the merch today. So I want to talk about this matter situation. And once again, my condolences goes out to the two that lost their lives and their families and their loved ones who lost, you know, these two individuals, because it's just so sad that a gaming event is unsafe or the, the thought of going to a gaming convention or an event, you have to watch your back. That is crazy. I would I would rather have to worry about some some YouTubers going to try to jump me because we had some beef. But now I have to worry about a mass shooting. Like, really? And the reason why I'm making this video is simply because I, I read some of the comments yesterday and only a few felt like offended that I was like blaming or using mental health like mental illness as the reason for this shooting. I'm gonna be honest with you. The 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 person who killed himself, um killed those two innocent, you know, pro players as well as himself, David Katz. Look at his video. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put it right now on the screen. I was able to play a good game and lucky to come out on top. Well along with the money that you're getting, we're also we've got something else for you in the club series. Your Madden jersey, there you go. Way to go bread. Coming out on top in the championship. Number seven seed taking out the number one seed in the final. Congr he looks fucking wacko. I'm sorry. Like that, if you suffer from mental health issues, you guys been watching my videos. I've spoken truth on it. You know what I mean? They're, you guys know mental health is much bigger than what, you know, most people know if they're not educated enough to understand, you know, the lanes of mental health and, you know, how far it goes. There's so many different diagnoses and treatment and just all this other stuff. If you're someone who suffers from depression, you was offended by my video, I would suggest you educate yourself and try to see, you know, the levels of depression and where it can take you. Now, if you feel like I'm not that type of person, I suffer from anxiety or something like that, and I don't do that. Well, you know what? That means you're taking care of yourself. You're getting, you're seeking proper treatment. You may be doing things that's uplifting you and you're probably not towards that. I guess your mindset or whatever is not triggering you in that lane. However, there's people who have bipolar or whatever, and it's probably in a much larger scale, much more dangerous scale too, if they're not seeking proper treatment and it can lead to shit like this. So yes, everything is related to mental illness, just that people don't like to acknowledge it and it's ignored in the black community and the Hispanic community, believe it or not. However, it's funny that a lot of these mass shootings it's Caucasian. I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not racist, no, but I'm being like honest. Over 150 mass shootings this year in the United States. Look up the individuals who caused these mass shootings and tell me if I'm fucking bugging. No, I'm being completely honest. However, we have gang violence in our communities. We have, you know, drugs and all this other stuff. We have our own fair share of issues, right? However, it's very ignored to seek mental help in, I guess, the Latino community or in the African-American community and the black community, like in Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, all these other areas in New York, as well as other states. But it is what it is. Everything is related to mental health. I don't know why people make it seem like, no, it's not fair. Once again, if you suffer from mental health issues and you feel like I'm nowhere near that or that's not, you know, my triggers or I'm not ever going to, you know what, then that must mean that you're taking care of yourself. You're taking the medicine that you need to take or whatever proper treatment you're seeing. There, whatever it is that you're doing, it's working for you. However, certain people don't like to, you know, seek treatment or help. And it triggers in different ways. There's so many different diagnoses. There's different levels to depression, bipolar, anxiety, schizophrenia. Like it goes beyond what you may even know or what you may think. That being said, yes, it was definitely related to mental health. I seen this dude, David Katz's video. He was, I think, a Buffalo Bills fan. He was playing. This dude looks sick. He looks fucking sick. You can hear the commentator saying, man, yeah, he's just quiet. He's saying this. And I mean, for for commentator purposes, it was a good, you know, he was kind of the person whoever's commentating his his game was doing a great job, you know, especially trying to de detail and, and like be specific about how this guy was looking during his session, play session. However, he looked really fucked up. And a lot of people were saying that whole weekend he was acting weird, acting funny. And he was from Maryland, if I'm not mistaken. So however that works, I'm just still confused as to how the hell he was able to see, uh, sneak a gun into that event. I've been to gaming events. They still have wanding. I, I don't. I, I it's, it's still confusing to me. I don't understand. And yes, the the individual uh, Eli Clayton was the I think the the young black brother who was in the video where the laser kind of went across his chest and then the face game went away. Yes, he was the individual that was shot and killed. This fuck is sad, sad Madden, bro. A video game, a video game, son. Yo, we playing video games, bro. And and that shit happens, bruh. So you telling me I got a fear for my life? Let me tell you something, man. People got to act tough all they want on the internet. Ain't nobody trying to lose their life, man. 
I don't know if people say, man, I don't care if I die. Go seek help because life is worth living. There's a lot more to life than what people may see or understand. You know, there's people who, who are very depressed, whatever, and they subscribe to my channel. But I talk to some of them and I let them know, yo, listen, don't, don't look that lane. I know you probably have a lot of deaths in your family, a lot of things that are going on, but there's always a light somewhere. You just have to find it. And if you already made it this far, why stop? You know, the fact that you lost in the tournament. Now, look at look at it like this. He open fired on two individuals because he lost in the tournament or he lost his game. But at the same time, he was already wacko to begin with. The fact that it took him losing that in, in Madden and he let off shots on people. Yo, you're fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel bad for his family. I don't. I don't. They didn't. They didn't take proper precaution to get him help. This dude. Look at his fucking face. Am I bugging? Yo, they say don't judge people by looks. No, am I fucking bugging? Am I? This shit, it angers me inside to see this type of shit happens. Am I bugging? Very, very focused. When you plays. are not gonna see much emotion from our guy Brett. This dude is a man. David Catch keeps to himself. He's a man of business. Even if whether it's that you lost in Madden or whatnot, you took it upon yourself. And took two innocent people's lives because of your problem. And you want me to say rest in peace to David Katz or to say I hope his family finds peace? I hate that I'm like this now. This ain't me. I'm the type I feel bad for everyone. I always try to find positivity in everyone, but nah. I'm sick of these school shootings. I'm sick, I'm sick of these mass shootings. And people are so blinded by it that. They like the gun laws and everything. They're like, oh, no, we like guns. Well, yeah, give guns to someone who suffers from mental illness who is at a stage in their life that they don't give a fuck no more. They're at their boiling point. You're going to definitely see that part get shot up. It's just reality. And everything is possible. All these shootings from any from kids' schools, from that Connecticut shooting years ago, from churches, from clubs, Las Vegas, a concert, a, like everywhere, schools. Now a gaming event. Bruh. The fuck is next? I don't want to know what's next. So once again, my condolences goes out to those two individuals, Taylor Robertson and Eli Clayton. You know, I hope his family, they grieve in peace and they find some sort of like peace and happiness, you know, at the end of all this. But like, come on, man. Young dudes playing video games. If you feel some sort of way, if you feel offended that I'm saying that this has everything to do with mental illness, do your research before you try to tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm out of here. God bless everybody. And for those who are suffering from something, I'm proud of y'all for like honestly seeking the proper treatment and help because to this day, I have a lot of you for a few years now who still comment on my videos, keep me updated and messaging me and telling me that, you know, things are still going well. It means you care about yourself as well. I'm out of here. God bless. Peace.